Hello, I'm Catherine and I'm the partner editor with the officer and I'm part of the team who's been working on this piece of work for over a year. Um, on behalf of the partnership, I would like to thank you for watching this presentation and for your input into this important consultation. So next slide, please. So first of all, I'm just going to put this work into context. So um, we've been working on this now for a year, as I mentioned, and the, the partner with our partners is, is um, they vary from um, tourism organisations to local authorities and farming unions and as obviously as a national park. Any um, anybody who's responsible really for managing um, managing the mountain. So next slide, please. So following a consultation process, all organisations uh, are committed to working together towards one shared vision, which is to care for the mountain's outstanding beauty and heritage and ensure a healthy and productive ecosystem where integrated services work together for the long term needs of the environment, local communities and the heritage and the visitor experience. We aim to preserve this, its unique character, ensuring that local people are included, con contribute and able to contribute for their benefit and that of the local community. And we aim for each person to respect, enjoy and understand and of course care for the mountain and its environment. So achieving this goal requires hard work and a clear plan of action. Um, so Kinsinner with that was launched in 2018, which is a management plan for the mountain and the surrounding area that maps out the long term path towards achieving this vision. And of course, one action point identified in the plan and one of the partnership's priorities is to address the parking and transport challenges in and around the Irwidva and Ogwen areas. So we commissioned experts to carry out a comprehensive survey looking into all aspects of parking and transport in the area. Um, and these were, of course, Martin Hickett's associates. And you can hear about more. Um, you can hear more about that work from Martin himself in another video. Next slide, please. So themes such as this one were fairly common last year due to the pandemic. But of course, as many of you are aware, um, they're not new. You know, the parking issues are not new problems here in Erri. So it's essential that we take action now. Next slide, please. Um, so Martin will go into a bit more detail about this in the in his presentation, but just as a as a as an overview. So um, the review concluded that the inner area was unable to cope with the intensity of the demand for vehicle access during peak periods. And this has had a significant impact on local communities, the environment and the visitor experience and that we have an opportunity now to transform the area into one recognised internationally for a sustainable approach to tourism. So what has been achieved so far? Next slide, please. So we received the review in June 2020 uh, and we've been presenting it to our partners and securing their support in principle to the, the vision. We've held a high level workshop to start discussions on one of the recommendations of um, establishing a new independence body to be responsible for parking and transport issues within within the inner area. We've also secured financial support from the Welsh Government through Transport for Wales um, to implement some of the initial projects and recommendations. And of course, um, with that support, we've been able to hold this um, consultation. Next slide, please. So in addition to this consultation, we've also received support um, for the following projects. So um, a public transport management study to define the network and future operation of bus services, including wider links to the train service. Um, also to establish a medium term automatic pre booking system for Penna Pass, which is now in place. Um, to develop a live, robust and resource light monitoring system for road traffic into the park and, and car parks and also to identify cycle network proposals and cycle hire schemes. 
So I'm now transferring you to Angela Jones, the Sonthonia National Park Authority Partnerships Manager. Dear, thank you, Catherine. Yeah, and I just want to emphasise really that this, this event and collecting your ideas is the most important step for us. We're very aware of strategies that have failed in the past because they didn't work with the people who live and work here full time and of course know the area better than anyone else. And I think it's really important to make clear that we don't have an agenda at all. This is really a genuine attempt to solve the problems that visitor traffic is having on the communities that experience it the most. Again, I think it's important to emphasise that we don't have a pot of money uh, set aside for this, but we're confident that if we do develop core principles of what we all want to see, this puts us in a really strong position to ask Welsh Government to support the work that needs to be done to look forward to a more sustainable future for the benefit of all, everyone who lives and of course who visits the area as well. So the video that follows is Martin Higgett, the author of the review, and he'll give you more meat on the bones of the work that's been done and the strategy that we are discussing in these consultations. But I'll just say here also thank you very much for everybody who has given their time and who has um, you know, responded to this consultation. It's hugely appreciated. And of course, all of the, the um, facilitators at the event as well who have uh, come after work, of course, to give their time also. Um, and the event begins the journey for us, really. This is a starting point for us for understanding your feelings and ideas. And we have a timetable. Jacobs and Grasshopper are working with us through Transport for Wales and will be analysing all of the results of the consultation. But it's up to Katrin and myself then with Partner Eithrwyddfa, of course, to come back to you hopefully with the ongoing support from Transport for Wales to develop the next steps. And what we'll aim to do is to write a report and come back to you using the feedback from these consultation exercises um, by the autumn of 2021. And of course, what we'd like to do is to have some draft proposals in place in order to be able to, um, to, to go out and try and get further investment in this strategy and see as it fits into the area. Um, it's not too late to contribute and many people have contributed via email and through the website. So please just get in touch with us if you do still want to have a discussion about these uh, ideas. And yeah, thank you very much and we look forward to speaking to you.